Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Red Lessons. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. And in today's Seth Lebon contributor video, I have the pleasure and the honor of talking about one of my most favorite discoveries as of the past couple of months. This is a fragrance by the company Memo Paris. It's called Corfu. I'm very excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin my fragrance review of Corfu by Memo Paris and I can tell you how you can enter to win a full size bottle of this amazing woody floral musk perfume which has some of my favorite notes, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Remember to enable all notifications by clicking on the bell and give this video a thumbs up. It would greatly assist with the YouTube algorithm. So there is an opportunity to win a full size bottle of this fragrance which has absolutely consumed me as of late. I really love this fragrance, the citrus, the rhubarb, the raspberry, the rose, the jasmine, the musk, the sandalwood, the moss, the black currant, all of these amazing ingredients. All you have to do is shoot on over to cephalabon.com. I'm also going to leave a link down below in the description section. Read through the article, read what the stipulations are to enter the giveaway. You must be a registered reader of cephalabon.com and then leave a comment below the article and that will enter you to win a full-size bottle of this brand new 2021 release by the company Memo Paris, which I think is absolutely amazing. So good luck to everybody out there. Make sure to enter quickly because the draw is not going to last forever. And this fragrance is very poignant, very sentimental to me because it is called Corfu. Now Corfu in Greek is Kerkira and it's a part of Greece, which is located in the northwestern portion of Greece and it's an island and I have personally been there uh, it was many many years ago many of you probably know this maybe not I used to live in Greece I was born in Queens I moved to Greece when I was very young I went to kindergarten first and second grade there and I have very fond memories of island hopping. I've never been to Mykonos or Santorini, but I have been to Kefalonia, which is where my father's side of the family is from. And Corfu is slightly north of that. And so I've been to Corfu as well. I was very young, but this fragrance really captures the spirit of the Mediterranean. It is evocative of being on vacation. You have the ample citrus fruits, you have the black currant, the cassis, you have some fruity touches in there as well. Of course, there's rhubarb in the opening which in and of itself gives off a strawberry aroma. You also have raspberry in the heart and some exotic floral ingredients. Before you enter a base of sandalwood and moss and musk and a lot of other incredible notes. So I'm very excited to get on with this video, tell you my thoughts regarding the smell, the performance and all that good stuff. Let's start things off with the presentation. So right in the opening of this fragrance, you are going to get this fruity, citrusy, and aromatic quality, which I think is absolutely spectacular. So it opens up with a ton of citrus notes in here. You do have bergamot, you have grapefruit, you have orange, you have mandarin orange, you have lemon. So this bouquet of citrus ingredients in the opening is absolutely spectacular and amazing. But it's also coupled with basil, which I think is so unique, and rhubarb as well. Now, I personally smelled a few rhubarb fragrances, one from Hermes and a couple others that uh, are not necessarily coming to my mind right now. But rhubarb, while it can be green at times, while it can have a touch of sweetness, actually has strawberry nuances. And so it's a very unique aromatic ingredient that I think pairs very well with the muskiness that's coming from the black currant and also that aromatic quality that's coming from the basil. And of course, there's a lot of basil in both Greece and Italy, not just in Corfu, otherwise known as Kerkira, but also found in other parts of the Mediterranean, especially Southern Europe. And so you have that uh, combination of all of those amazing, refreshing, citrusy re ingredients in the opening. But then in the heart, you start to get into some floral ingredients. And you have the rose, uh, you have jasmine, you have lily of the valley. And I think the rose is really the strongest floral ingredient that you're going to get but it's not a thick, jammy, or syrupy rose. It's actually something a little bit on the loftier side, something a little more airy, something a little more transparent without necessarily being 
ultra diaphanous to the point where you can't perceive it. It's definitely in the heart. It's one of the strongest floral ingredients that you will perceive from this fragrance, but even the heart brings forth some aromatic attributes. And so not just the basil in the opening, uh, but you also have some ingredients in the heart that are really, really pleasant. And I think also convey that Mediterranean vibe. Of course, as you start to get into the base, which happens about the four hour mark of the evolution of this perfume, you are going to pick up on this really clean and smooth and sensual musk note. You are also going to get a little bit of sandalwood. And of course, in terms of the olfactive properties of sandalwood, it opens up a little creamy, a little sweet. You have this really smooth woodsy vibe, not peppery like a cedar wood, not animalic like an agarwood. So it's really smooth, very creamy, also very exotic smelling at the same time. And I think it's the totality of all of the ingredients that really remind me of being on vacation. Had I discovered this fragrance back in March or April, I promise you it would have made the top five of my favorite summer fragrances, possibly even the top three. I love this one so much. And I think it's a really amazing summertime fragrance that can also carry you into the autumn because of how well it performs. And I know a lot of us, when we're looking for fragrances, we want to wear something in a climate controlled environment. Maybe we're looking for something to wear to the office. We're looking for something to wear to work. I think this is an amazing contender for that type of an occasion and I think it will work really well in the fall season too. I'm so happy that I have my hands on this fragrance. I really encourage everybody out there to go and smell it. There are some incredible fragrances from the house of Memo Paris. Of course, we have African leather, Italian leather, uh, Russian leather is actually one of my favorites. And then you have Marfa and many other fragrances that I have in my collection and I've purchased so many from the brand. This one was sent to me for review, but I'm very excited that I had the opportunity to talk about this fragrance on my channel. And some subsequently on cephalobomb.com. And so make sure to visit the link down below, enter for your chance to win a full-size bottle while the giveaway is still happening. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this is a very unique fragrance to me. The combination of all of the ingredients, the citrus in the opening, the rhubarb, the raspberry, uh, of course the rhubarb also gives off a strawberry vibe, uh, the basil, the aromatic properties, really exquisite, very unique and very um, accessible. I think this is the type of fragrance with which you can get compliments. People will really enjoy and love the way that you smell. Longevity is 10 plus hours. What I've learned about Memo and Floraiku fragrances, Floraiku is a sister company to Memo, they last a very, very long time, despite the fact that a lot of them might be citrus oriented or maybe a little bit on the lighter side in terms of the notes included in the composition, they definitely last a very, very long time. And this has a very complex note breakdown. So even check it out online if you have the opportunity to do so on the brand's official website. Projection is amazing for the first two to two and a half hours of application. It will radiate beyond an arm's length. It doesn't start to sit closer to the skin until about that eight hour mark. The versatility for this one is also incredible. I would probably wear this one in every season except for winter, despite the fact that it performs really well. And if you're wearing it indoors, like I said, of course you can wear it in the winter time. These are just recommendations, but there is truly something about this one that reminds me of being on vacation, conjures up some really positive memories for me and just makes me feel like being in the Mediterranean, which I absolutely miss. And I can't wait to visit Greece again. I haven't been to Greece since 2011. So definitely something that's been on my radar now. In terms of the presentation, you know the presentation is absolutely beautiful. From the card on the front of the box, the box itself, the label, the design on the bottle, the plaque, everything about it is really exquisite. So my final verdict on this fragrance is if you are a fan of citrus and aromatic perfumes, if you like notes like grapefruit, rhubarb, basil, rose, jasmine, lily of the valley, sandalwood, musk, even patchouli. Please check this fragrance out. Super complex, incredibly refreshing, and a very unique fragrance that I'm super stoked that I have in my collection. So there you have it, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for joining me once more. That was my fragrance review of Corfu by Memo Paris. If you own or have tried any fragrance from this brand, 
please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to support this channel by subscribing to it. Make sure to enter the giveaway by going to cephalabon.com. Also, follow the link down below in the description section. It would mean a lot to me. And good luck to everybody who chooses to participate in the giveaway. Again, remember, you must be a registered reader. Thank you again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you soon.